I'm not fully reliant on the camera. Yeah. Um, and there's a very good reason for that. Why? Uh, there was an incident, and it, it so makes me so very glad that I do overlay the audio that we record on the laptop over mm. the audio that we record on the uh, camera. Uh, basically, what happened? Something with the camera happened where for about. 10 to 20 seconds. I, I don't remember the exact uh, time frame now. There was just a screech. Oh, God. Yeah. Really horrifying screech. Some sort of interference that the camera had picked up on. And it lasted for about – it lasted a, a long enough time that it showed up on, like, the audio timeline when I was fully yeah. zoomed out in Vegas. And I'm like, what oh, the wow. fuck is that? And I, I just – I jump to it on the timeline and zoom ghost. in and I play – and I hit play and it's just – a ghost going away. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to describe what this noise was. That's but funny. it was one of the. Uh, you could still hear us talking, but only just barely. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, it's one of those things where I'm really, really glad that I now overlay the audio from the video and all that good shit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Man, that would have been bad. That would have sucked. Yeah, but uh, hi talking. guys, how hey. you guys doing today? Hey everybody, Ungodly Geeks. Joe. Uh, I'm Luke. And we're just sitting here, uh, you know, kind of chilling for a little bit. I don't know what Luke's doing Recording over there. Recording the podcast. I don't know. You know, I found some green. You know, I like green. You left green behind in here? I guess I did. Oh, fuck. I wish I I'd have known that. I would have been smoking. <laughs> fuck, I could have used Enjoying it. Enjoying it. I'm tired as hell, man. I hear you. That's one of my, that's one of my like, always, go- it's always going to be a complaint where I'm just tired. Yeah. Until I get to... Start doing something that I actually enjoy. Yeah. Because, I mean, holy shit, dude. I just... I don't enjoy retail. <laughs> retail is hell. I like, I like... I love, 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 love helping people. Like, I really, really do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I hate working retail with, like, people who are entitled to things. So, you're not... You're not entitled to treat us like shit. Yeah. So that's the problem that. is I think I, I, I do agree with people that say everybody should have to work in like service industries or Absolutely. retail or yeah. something. Yeah. No, everybody should put in a little bit of time in that. I mean, I got to say like my, my time in, in a retail environment has, has made me infinitely more patient Yeah. when I'm like contacting others in or I'm interacting with others in us in a, in that kind of role or it's a service industry or a tech support thing. Cause like, it's not, like, if I have to call my bank for something, it's not that teller's fault. Yeah, it's exactly. not that whoever picks up the phone and is attempting to help me. It's not their fault that my stupid ass, you know, overdrew or something. Yeah. It's not, I, I can't sit there and be mad at her. I mean, it's not even her fault. If like the bank screwed up, Right. No, it's not her fault personally. It's the same thing with like when you contact anybody, Comcast or cable companies and stuff. You know what though? They're really – Fuck Comcast. Oh, totally fuck Comcast. But, but don't yeah, – It's, it's but don't hard not to take it out Whoever that you're guy. talking about. Yeah, yeah, whoever you're talking to, remember it's not that you know, person's fault. Yeah. They did not fuck with your service. They're only there to do whatever they can. Yeah. You know, they're there like you are when you're at your shitty job to earn a paycheck. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, and I, I always keep that in mind whenever I have to contact tech support these days because it's like, you know, I might be talking to Alice here. Alice didn't do it. it wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault. Thank you, Alice, for your help. Yeah. <laughs> if you're an Alice out there and you're listening. You know, all the Alices. All the Alices in the world. Thank you for your help. Unless you're a cunt, go fuck you. You know, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and you know it too. Oh yeah, you know when you're a cunt. Because <laughs> if I'm sitting here calling you a cunt, you take offense to it. And you only take offense to it with me saying if you're a cunt. Because <laughs> anyone who's not a cunt is just gonna let that slide. They're gonna let that they're gonna let that go. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit of a cunt sometimes, though. Yes. But Can be. Nobody, uh, only the people, I'm only talking to the people who make it their identity. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah, it's like that <laughs> Chris Porter it's like joke. That, oh, I was going to say, it's like that uh, quote, I, Game of Thrones, somebody looks at somebody and says, you can't be a cunt your whole life. Yeah. Or something like that. 
Well, I like bronze coat. There's no cure for being a cunt. Well, you say a bronze, yeah. But uh, I don't know if that's what you're thinking about. But I, it might have been. I don't know. I'm thinking of a fucking reaction image I saved. It's but <laughs> how long ago? Well, I for me, it's the Chris <laughs> Porter joke that comes to mind. Uh, you know, if you're ugly and you have a bad personality, what are you offering people? And then, you know, he follows up with, at least I'm funny. Yes. <laughs> and that applies to me. Like, yeah, I'm ugly, but... You know, I have something to offer. I'll make you laugh. What yeah. do you have to offer? No. Nothing. You're, you're a cunt and you're Why ugly. be an asshole? Yeah. You know, fuck you. How did we get here? I have no I idea. I don't know what the fuck we were talking about. That's usually how we go. We were talking a little bit about Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3, yeah. before been announced, kind of. Before I clicked the, uh, the record button on here, yeah. Kind of sort of been announced. That's cool. I mean, I, we uh, yeah, we knew it was coming. It's one of those yeah. things that's... Uh, pretty much been in the works for a while it's been hinted at so many so many times um but i guess the uh the ceo almost sort of confirmed its release date oh. which is 2019 but we don't know an actual concrete date but yeah we know it's coming out in 2019 yeah yeah thanks like- to the ceo uh, what's his name? Strauss Zelnick. I Zelnick. love that name. Strauss Zelnick. Strauss Zelnick. Yeah, it's a good strong name. Good strong name. He sounds like he should be like a dude who's known for swimming. Like he should be like an Olympic swimmer. That or like he ran a concentration camp. <laughs> One or the other. Yeah, maybe he, he was on. He, he'd maybe been on uh, trial, or you know, he was an Olympic swimmer. Who knows? <laughs> So basically, he either <laughs> killed a bunch of people, or he's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> like Michael Phelps level good yeah. at swimming. Strauss. Like race a shark level swimming. <laughs> Didn't Gosh. they want to do that with Phelps at one yeah, time? Yeah, no, that was an actual thing, and they actually went through with it, but from what I recall... They I were think in two it, different pools. and uh, and Actually, I think it was shark. a simulation. I think they fucking sat there and did like a CGI shark or some shit. God damn it. Because it's insane to sit there and have him go up against a shark. You know what? You're going to do that. Come on. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it, man. Put a fucking like tiger. Get the Mythbusters. They'll fucking like build a bite proof thing. Yeah. Like, you know. (laughs) And then it'll blow up at the end and it'll be awesome. (laughs) (laughs) This man sits there and busts myths. He he knows. That's what they do. Yeah. They bust myths. (laughs) It's, Can he outswim a shark? And the other dude just goes, no. <laughs> and the episode's you know, over. My favorite, favorite fucking uh, moment from Mythbusters is when they're designing the death ray. Yeah. And uh, a Jamie just stands in the middle of it. It's like, I don't think our death ray is working. I'm standing right in the middle of it and, and I'm, I'm not, not dead. dead. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. It kind of puts a damper on the whole goddamn thing, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Just, just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, oh. But oh well. Yeah, yeah, that was a great, great, great fucking show. No, I, uh, I, you mentioned that, which is cool. Something that reminds me of. Yeah. Um, I was online today, and I don't even know how I got there. I had no idea this was coming out, and I should have because this is one of my favorite games. They released on July third a remake, like an HD upgrade to yeah. um, Red Faction Gorilla. Oh, uh, isn't it like Remars? Edition? Remars edition, yeah. Remastered edition. And I don't know how I missed that was coming out, or maybe we talked about it and I'm just kind of not No, remember. we totally did not talk, talk about it. I fucking, that's one of my, like, one of my favorite games. For right. The just, I know we've talked about that game. I know we've, ta- I mean, yeah. we've talked about the Red Faction. environments. As a series, how yeah. How fun it is. Yeah, oh yeah. That game was awesome. The fact that they're, they've remastered it. And I got it for free, apparently, because I own the Steam version of the game. Oh, well, I went to buy it, and it said, you already own this. And I was like, okay, have I just lost time, or... <laughs> have I just <laughs> lost I just the lose last a day? week Was I abducted? So? Yeah, <laughs> like... Well, how do I, oh okay yeah, probably because I have the game already <laughs> and I just fucking installed it before I left. Kind of like how Bethesda did with uh, Skyrim Special yeah, Edition. Special Edition, or whatever. If you already had like the Legendary Enhanced. Edition or the DLCs, you got the Special Edition for free. Yeah, uh, I, a lot of games have done that. I think um, uh, Deus Ex Machina, um, Human Revolution. I think mm-hmm. there's the, the director's cut. And it's not free, but you can upgrade to the director's cut for half price. Yeah. I know that. Um, I have the original game, and 
it's one of those things that just sits there in my library. I've just told you to play and just takes, yeah. Well, yeah, because I've got such a large list of things, other things that come in that I want to play. So fuck you, Luke. I know. That's my problem right now. Yeah. I look down my list of games like, I need to really play all of these. I'm yeah. Just playing PUBG. <laughs> like, I mean, I've got... I've got oh, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, I'm going to go play that right now. I got <laughs> both Metro games that I wanted to play on stream. Yeah. And I've got Nier Automata that I also wanted to play on stream. Not even fucking attempt it. Yeah. Like, in the last... Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I just, I don't care when I go to get on my PC and be like, yeah, I should stream something. And then I just go, I don't want to. Yeah. I want to go play Hollow Knight on my Switch while I watch fucking YouTube videos or yeah. something. Or I just want to sit there and play it on my Switch. Uh, I, that's all I've been doing. I've been and, playing the shit on Hyrule Warriors, playing adventure mode, unlocking characters. I mean, for me, I I love Hyrule Warriors, but I think I burned myself out playing over 265 hours of Fire Emblem Warriors. I was going to say, yeah, you yeah. played Fire Emblem Warriors behind, before that, and the Warriors series, I get burned out on really quick. Yeah. This game does quite a lot to keep me interested, though. I mean... Like, they went <laughs> they went all out with, the like, the adventure mode. Fucking, fucking Jim fuck. Sterling saying it's the best Zelda game on Switch. Oh, fuck, that was good. I was laughing. I laughed. Yeah, uh, no, I had to laugh. I could man. fear, like the, I, I could feel like the hatred from the, just the Zelda fanboys. Oh yeah, the the extreme fans. Like, yeah, how fucking dare you, Breath of the Wild, a masterpiece. A <laughs> okay, yeah, but seven out of ten doesn't mean it's a shit game. Yeah, oh yeah, we've had that discussion. You know, but it could totally have his opinion that the best Zelda game on the Switch is Hyrule Warriors. You know what? It's That's a great just game. funny. Yeah, I think it is. I mean. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'm a huge, huge. Zelda I like. Fan. I I gotta say, I definitely think Breath of the Wild's the best, but on that console. Um, but I won't go back and play it. No, no, I'm kind of done with that game. Yeah, like I've been trying. I can't, it's I one can't of those get things. my head around the the weapons. I just I don't care. Every time about I all think that. about that, I'm like, I don't. I really don't want to do that. It's for me. I'll go and I'll play, and I'm playing through master mode and all that. Yeah. And, like, I won't even do anything. I'll just, I'll, I'll step off a fucking platform and just die. Yeah. Oh, and it's well, like, that you know would what? be really frustrating. It's, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where I'm not amazing at these games, but I'm good enough that I can, I can get through them. But Master Mode, and I know there are real hardcore Zelda fans out there who would make fun of me for it, but Master Mode seriously does feel unfair. Mm. You know, it's, it just feels completely unfair. Enemies have the health regen, and there's the extra damage, and you don't have any base enemies. All the base enemies are second tier. Then there's another higher tier, which is (laughs) insane. You know, I I mean, I love the game. I want to go back and play it eventually and and play through it again, but I think I'm going to wait another year or two, play some other shit, and, and, and revisit it, probably not in master mode. I don't mm-hmm. think like I guess the master mode feels unfair sometimes. For me it's I'm trying to get through that challenge dungeon thing. Oh, I haven't even started. That was what I was trying to do and the fact that it's just it's too long thinking about what doing that. Yeah. I'm like no, I'm not going to play that game for that long. Like if I want to go back for like the DLC, like I want that to be like okay, I know I'm going to play this for like 4 hours, 5 hours, whatever. Right. And you know, I play it and I'm good. Um, I don't want to like spend hours and hours attempting that same fucking dungeon thing, only to get killed once and have to start all, all over again. I mean, that's a huge that's a huge bummer too. Ugh. So, like the people who are doing that on Master Mode, like holy shit, I bow to you. Like you're, yeah, you're yeah. nuts. You're so, you're fucking nuts. It's just crazy shit people doing that. You're so much like, dude. No, I'm good. I will. I will know. <laughs> just no. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was that good. I mean, yeah, you, you know, you probably could be if you practice enough, but like, that's a lot of that's a lot of work. You know? Oh yeah, at some point, I'm just gonna be like, now, nah, you know what? I'm gonna go play this game, or yeah, I'm yeah. gonna watch fucking YouTube or something, or fucking Netflix. Let's go watch porn, like yeah. anything else, basically. And there's so many things, like so much entertainment options we got these days. So yeah, no, I there there, there are better things to do with my time than risk throwing my controller through my TV. It was like going through Hyrule Warriors Legends uh, Legends mode yeah. where they have all the different maps. Right. Um, and they're all inspired by different Zelda games. And it's 
really fucking interesting because they all have different quirks and things. And they, as you go down the maps, they get harder and harder. Like one of the hardest ones is fucking uh, Spirit Track slash um, our, uh, Phantom Hourglass, right? Which is like the most kitty child Zelda game. I, <laughs> and I, I was uh, looking at that like this is fuck off, fuck you in the ass hard. Why did you do that, Nintendo? Um, I just went through all of them because fuck you. Yeah, I went through all of them looking for the unlockable characters. Yeah, where uh, you know where they were on the map and stuff. And I'm going through, and it immediately tells me this map you have these things that show up, which you have to go get this item to be able to defeat, or it will fuck you. Blah 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 blah. Right. And the the uh, Majora's Mask map resets after a certain amount of time. Oh. Every time you start playing, like. I'm going down. I'm like, are there? Uh, yeah, never playing this map. Okay, next. Uh, nope, never doing that one. <laughs> like, it, it does. Is get, there a character here? No, not fucking with you. <laughs> it's, it, 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 I, I kind of like that idea. Like, and that for me, that, that seems like a fresh way to do those kinds of things. Oh yeah, it's what I, I stopped playing Adventure. I did one one level because I need. I actually need an item to do some of these adventure modes. I, I didn't never got the hammer in the main quest line. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far. And you either. have to get. Yeah, you have to get that item. Well, you have fight the bird from Wind Waker. Right. And if you don't have the hammer, you it's like the way to actually stun it. So you have to. The only things that do damage to it are special attacks. Ooh. So I did a mission where I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna fight him anyway," <laughs> and uh, I just kept beating up on him. And I got that boss near another boss. So when I beat the, or I was doing fighting Goma, and oh fuck Goma, yeah, and would do the uh, where you knock that meter down and do the special attack or whatever the fuck it's called, right? The uh, the weak point, yeah. When you hit the weak point for massive damage, uh, I would catch the bird in that <laughs> attack animation as well, and that's how I ended up beating the level. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Fuck it, man. Because I was like, I don't want to fucking play. I played one adventure mode and realized, oh, my God, these are like three times as long or not adventure mode. One of the main like quest mode levels. I was like, they're three times as long as the adventure modes. There's all the time fucking Link, go save this or whoever you're playing. Go save this fucking asshole. He needs help. And it's fust- It's fucking frustrating. I mean, that, that's all. That that goes back to one of my complaints about the game. Is the map just sucks in that game. The mini map. Oh yeah, yeah it's hard like, to tell where even you the full are, map. Where the even are. the full map sucks ass. Yeah. Compared to uh, like Fire Emblem Warriors, like when they were porting this game, I really wish they would have backported some of the newer features they did yeah. and, and like the improved map and. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on that I I didn't get to for whatever reason was you know we were talking about. Um, like the characters being really stupid, they are really really stupid. Oh my stupid. god, the AI, yeah. It's, like like it's, all right, in Fire Emblem Warriors, if you tell a character to go take a fort, yeah, um, they might take a little while, but they will take that fort. Yeah, when they're done taking that fort, they'll move on to other things. Right? <laughs> oh god, they'll run in this around. Game? <laughs> they'll just stay in the fucking fort they and do nothing in there. They just they <laughs> no. Literally, they literally will just stand there. That's all they, they will do, do. Nothing. And on top of that, if there's an objective where oh, you shit. have to, you're not in the frame. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Uh, <laughs> half Whoops. outside the frame. Whatever. You're like halfway. But uh, if there's a mission where you have to stop something from getting to a base at a certain time, hi everybody. Now I'm in frame. If you have to stop somebody, something, from getting there, they will stand in that fort until the enemy comes inside before they engage the enemy every single time. And they will almost invariably lose. Yeah, and they just kind of stand there and get hit a lot. (laughs) They can barely take forts from just the base enemies who you run in and wipe out in, like, six attacks. It's it's amazing to me. Like, that, that, that is a huge... That's a huge mark against the game. Yeah, and I guess for me, it's like trying. It's like it's like playing Oblivion and then trying to go back to Morrowind. Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of hard because Oblivion improved in a lot of areas over Morrowind. Oh yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do Morrowind. The, or like like Skyrim. I probably couldn't even do Oblivion or Oblivion now. Yeah, I uh, might after be Skyrim. I'm like I might. For me, it would be nostalgia. I played it. I know what to expect. So I, I'd probably be good. Um, but. Yeah, I'd, the whole time I'd be trying to do things. Like, I even get that when I go back and I've replayed a lot of the Call of Duty games I liked. Like, I pl- played through two, played through three, and I think I did uh, World at War. And there are a lot of times, in, especially in Call of Duty 2, where I'm like, okay, got to move to the next objective. And I'm clicking the stick 
And I'm like, okay, sprint. Sprint, motherfucker. Sprint. And instead, you're just running along, slow as fucking as shit. And it's like, oh, yeah, they didn't invent sprint yet. And then, like, uh, enemies. Sprint. <laughs> exactly. And then enemies <laughs> chuck a grenade at you, and you just kind of stand there and look at it and go, oh, yeah, there's no throwing back grenades in this one. <laughs> It's like it's just all these little quality of life improvement type things that are yeah. so simple that you take for granted in later games. You just don't have. Oh yeah, and that that, that that's one of the biggest marks against it for me because I put so many hours into Fire Emblem Warriors and then started playing this one. Now that doesn't mean I don't, the game is still great. Yeah. So I mean, it's still a great game, but that's not what we came here to talk about, right? No, I mean not really. We talk about whatever. I didn't have enough fucking to cover the whole thing. Um. I did see some interesting movie news, though. Oh, yeah? That uh, do, there's a new character in Spider-Man uh, Enter the Spider-Verse. Oh. Uh, Nicolas Cage has really? joined that movie. Yes. And at first, I'm like, okay, they're going to cast him as a bit part. You know, haha. It, l- listen to this Nick Cage. Because, I mean. He's going to be like a caller on like a radio show he's, or something. They have the perfect role for him. Oh. No, he's playing. Um, Nick Cage is uh, Spider-Man Noir. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was like, okay, no, yeah, I'm down for that. I like that, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man Noir is like – it became kind of a trend where Marvel did it. I think DC even did it with uh, a couple characters where they did the noir version, like a dark um, set usually in like the 50s, 40s, 50s, uh, just a like a noir version of their comic book characters. Right. Um, they talk to themselves. That's very gangster oriented, uh, oriented. Like I know Batman noir, Spider-Man noir. I first experienced in, um, one of the Spider-Man games, uh, like shattered universe or whatever. Right. That right. you switch between different, uh, universes of Spider-Man. Spider-Man noir is fucking, noir is fucking awesome. He doesn't have as many, abilities right so he uses a lot of just simple gadgets um and i don't know i think that's fucking interesting i mean dude i'm, I'm down for anything nick cage yeah like yeah. straight up i really am like i'm not exactly subscribed to the idea that he's the one true god but oh, god. you know i i, I enjoy I he's gen- not the greatest actor ever <laughs> i genuinely enjoy nick cage just being nick cage yeah like, and if he <laughs> signed on to this that means that whatever they have for this part I think it's uh, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm I'm, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm very excited down. for that. Plus, I don't Nick Cage has he done much voice work? I don't. I only a I, few things. I have no idea. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I'm, I don't know if Nick Cage has ever done voice work. I'm sure but, he's done uh, a voice for some stupid ass animated movie. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't doubt it. I just don't know that he has. It's basically you know. Let's find out. Let's see, yeah. Nick Cage voice work i i just know that this movie gets better and better every time i hear a news story about it so i can't fucking wait uh nick cage there's a website called behind the voice actors <laughs> uh he played a character in the crudes he played a character in astro <laughs> oh that's right he was the father in the crudes that movie uh i've watched he, I watched he's a character named Grug. <laughs> yeah. I watched part of that movie. Actually, not nearly as bad as you would expect. I mean, I never expected it to be good or bad. No, I, I fully expected it to be terrible because it's not a Pixar animated movie or like uh, somebody halfway decent. Oh, shit. Well, that wouldn't be good. No, that would be absolutely not But But, um, no, it was actually, it was better. Oh, shit. I don't have my headphone adapter. Never mind. Whoops. Um, yeah, I was going to sit there and play... Uh, like the video, like the video clip here, and we'll put it in a uh, recording here. But I, I don't feel like things. No, yeah, um, it's not bad. But uh, I, I'm kind of excited for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with it. Yeah, uh, like I said, I, just, I want to see him in more things where he's able to be weird. But I, I don't think it's a completely terrible thing for him to be a voice actor either. Yeah, oh yeah. I still think uh, I want him to be either in like a DC EU movie, Marvel movie, something where he plays like an older hero. That's retired. He could play older Superman? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, my God, if he actually got to play Superman. If they ever do a crisis event or if they ever do, like, something where they have multiple Supermen from different universes, I would hope that even if it's just a short little cameo that they get Nick Cage 
to play one of them. That just would because, be, that would man. be amazing. Oh, I'd be so happy. Nick Cage, like, get Barack Obama to play the president, the black president who was oh, Superman. Please, yes. That would be so cool. Oh, man. Somebody <laughs> somebody show this episode to Obama, man. Like, I want to see him in movies. That'd be fine. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, I, I like Obama. If you Obama. can't get him, I mean, like, Chris Rock. Oh, what's, what's uh, Chris Rock, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Well, um, what's the guy who played President David Palmer in uh, 24? He, you know, he plays the Allstate commercials now. Oh, oh, I can't oh. remember his name. Not, not, uh, yeah, that dude, he did, uh. I mean, just, just reprise, just have him reprise awesome. his role yeah. as, you know, or Idris Elba. Or Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris Elba for every character. He just be President Idris Elba. Yeah. Uh, that, that's it. He just, also Superman. Also Superman. He could be both. He's secretly Superman. I don't know anything about that that comic series or anything. Yeah. Uh, I've only read a little bit about it, but it seemed pretty interesting. Yeah. I know he he beat up somebody. Like, did he beat Super White Prime in a fight? He did something that was pretty big, noteworthy. Uh, that like e- even like the normal universe continuity Superman. Yeah. Couldn't do right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Other than, like, being president, not letting fucking Lex Luthor become president and ruin the fucking world. I mean, way, that's pretty good. The way normal Superman did. That's pretty pretty good idea. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, yeah. I was kind of uh, interested in that. Uh, Legendary is making a live-action Gundam movie. Why? I don't know. Did you ever... You and I, you never into the Gundam anime? No, I loved Gundam. Like, I mean... Yeah. I, I remember watching the OG OG Gundam. I haven't watched any Gundam, offshoot. Mobile, mobile Suit Gundam? Mobile Suit Gundam, yeah. yeah. Absolute OG with Wing Zero and Hero and all those guys. Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, that's Gundam Wing. OG Gundam is uh, Mobile well, Suit Well, yeah, Gundam. Gu- Gundam Wing. Right. Okay, the um, one when they aired on Toonami and it got big, basically. Uh, This was before Toonami when I was watching it. When it was just on Cartoon Network. We were talking about back when... Uh, what I'm talk what the earliest memories I have of Gundam Wing or Gundam shows would be when I was really young watching Dragon Ball Z on my 13 inch black and white. So we're talking six or seven was when I well, so it might not have been uh it might have been the OG the um, original Gundam. Gundam yeah but uh, I mean I can only vaguely remember a lot of that yeah so. But uh, I do remember watching it on my little black and white TV. <laughs> I mean, the thing, the thing was uh, not. Well, much... yeah, you wouldn't know what it was, anyways. It was fucking black and white. I knew what I knew what Dragon Ball Z was. Yeah. Only because I now know what it is. <laughs> like I was watching back, it on the international channel, having no fucking idea what it was. It was on. Uh, it was on W, the local WB here, uh, yeah. which was fucking something completely different there but it's always been channel 64 yeah channel 64 i'd watch it uh didn't they change the voice actors at least in dragon ball didn't they change the voice actors for the american version no no at it was, some point well i mean no not there like, were there were other dubs because it other failed actors, when it originally aired but uh no the original the original uh you know what i can't even remember I've always had. I, just, I've always I remember heard, the, the one of the documentaries about Dragon Ball Z that I've watched. Dragon I mean, Ball in general. The current voice for Goku is yeah. the vo- go is the voice I've always known for Goku. Yeah, but I can remember very, very, very early episodes. Like we're talking like the first nine episodes. Yeah, he was. Uh, he he did have a slightly different voice, but that I don't know if they changed the voice actor or the voice actor just changed the way he did the voice. Yeah, so I can't like, I, I can't they might remember have recorded or something. But I just um, remember that when Dragon Ball Z first was airing on like like WB and yeah, like, yeah. I think they tried to air it two or three times and it just it didn't work. It got like a small audience. Yeah, and then once it finally came to Cartoon Network, mm-hmm. uh, is when it found that massive audience yeah see i didn't have cartoon network until i was in my teenage years yeah but i remember watching a couple very you know a couple animes when i was very young dragon ball z being one of them Um, we were gonna do an anime episode (laughs) i mean we still we still can like we still have those plans so any weebs out there we're gonna do that do a little bit i my first experience with anime other than sailor moon I can remember them I remember showing watching Sailor, Sailor Moon, Moon very early. And on then, too. like you said, I think Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z got smattered in there. I would see those every once in a while. But was uh, during the summer on the Sci Fi Channel, they did this like anime. I don't remember what they called it anime takeover, anime something. But on that sounds like Friday or Sci-Fi Saturday nights. Yeah. yeah. Friday or Saturday nights, they would show anime. And it wasn't 
Sailor Moon. This was like movies like I, I don't know if they ever showed Akira, but they showed like um, just fucking brutal shit with full like I, I don't I don't think it was edited. I just remember I'm a little kid. My dad's like just letting me watch it, which I was never allowed to do. This is back when I wasn't allowed to watch like rated R stuff. And he's pretty much like, ah, it's OK. Whatever. It's not that bad. Fuck. Yeah. But I mean, it got fucking brutal. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of those shows like Alita One Winged Angel, I think, was one. Of them. I think that's the title. You got me. Like, whatever. I might have the title wrong. Sorry, Weebs. Um, <laughs> no, he's not. There's uh, they, no, like no, I sorry. saw stuff. I still to this day can't. I don't know what the title is. It was because it was literally like way, you know, go downstairs, get to watch this with my dad past bedtime. And it's just something on. It wasn't like I had any idea. Yeah. They, yeah. they might have said the titles in the commercials, but that was fucking, I was blown away by like, this cartoons can be like this? Yeah. Like, this is awesome. Because I mean, by that point, all you knew was like still shit like Looney Tunes. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, and, like, but now you're sitting there watching where like Tiny some dude just like got only... stabbed in the back of the face yeah. or something. Like I some just remember shit. this. Yeah, I got to find it eventually. But there was one where there was a, a, a universe kind of like where there's androids and people. And there's a cop who's the, I don't like androids. I don't want to work with an android. And, of course, his partner is an android right, or yeah, a that, cyborg or whatever. That fucking, that fucking tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as the anime progresses, he keeps getting injured. And at some point, somebody's like, uh, John, you're more a machine than man now, too. <laughs> I don't know. It was just fucking awesome. That sounds cool. I mean, one of my earliest memories is watching Ghost in the Shell, too. So, I mean. Yeah. This fucking might have been Ghost in the Shell. I don't know. It could have been. I mean, it that, might have been one of the ones on that, there. That, that that show was pretty brutal in the Sun of the State, from oh, what really? I recall. But I mean, uh, speaking of Ghost in the Shell, it's just it's still mind boggling to me that people got so angry that what's her name Scarlett oh, Johansson yeah. was cast as Major. It's like you do realize that in the source material, Major was a white chick, right? Like the the your author intended for her to be white, yeah. Post okay. traumatic experience, right? Like, yeah. Get get the what? What are you stupid? Yeah, I mean they like that one. I'm kind of like eh, e- one, either way, it ended up being bad. But uh, I I think the movie was fine, and a lot of the bad stuff was just people complaining about I whitewashing. It was boring it. is my biggest problem with it. I haven't it was watched dragged. It. I can't. I can't yeah. be. I can't comment on it. I heard it was fine. Yeah, I downloaded it and finally watched it. And was like, yeah, eh. it's like it's not bad, but it's not. It's I not mean, great. When you compare it to the source material, the, yeah, the, oh yeah, the I'd source material so much rather like the source sh- material sets a very high bar. If you want to complain about her in great. the role, I don't think she fits the role as well. I, I no, like, I, totally, I love her as an actress, but yeah, like I don't. I would totally give you that one, but to sit yeah. there and complain is whitewashing when it's not. Yeah, you're, you're an idiot. Just go kill yourself. I mean, if you want to put, because it's a Japanese art form, Japanese entertainment, if you want to see them hire Japanese actresses for that, fine. Um, but I think it's kind of silly if the character is. I mean, like, you know, one thing I would complain about is that the Full of Metal Alchemist uh, show on Netflix has Asian actors in place. <laughs> of, no, fuck that. They were German, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah, everyone in that show was fucking German. Everyone in that show was fucking white as hell. with the Blonde hair, blue eyes. Exception of, well, they had blonde hair and gold eyes. No gold. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Winry was blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. Scar was a person of color. Scar and Nish and people, fine. They're people of color. But the fucking <laughs> main characters were white <laughs> as hell. They were white <laughs> as I, my pasty ass is but you cast an asian actor in this place <laughs> fuck y'all this is yeah. not real outrage by the way i don't care uh something oh the they well they learned from death note they're not even fucking around anymore they fucked up with death note it's death just note was just fucking terrible i don't know i don't like the it. i don't really like the anime like it's okay I, I i've watched the anime it's pretty entertaining i just never went back to finish the any of it and the movie was just like oh my god the movie I heard was very cringy. Yeah. Um, and honestly, just from the trailer tidbits it. I've seen. I just couldn't finish yeah, it. Yeah, from the trailer tidbits I've seen, it's like, wow, you guys are trying really hard to be edgy. Yeah. 
Like the main character, if I ever saw him in real life, I would probably punch him in his face. Don't or get me maybe wrong. not the main character, whoever the short blonde haired character dude is. I, I don't. I'd oh, punch the him in the face. Uh, L, the detective. Yeah. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. It's very the anime, but it works when it's it's anime when it's super edgy when this character's he's literally losing his mind because he's using the death note, right? Um, becoming this evil like mastermind and all this stuff, and it works there. But when you start when you put that into live action. I just don't think it works anymore. Yeah, you, in, in in live action, you can't do the anime glasses thing where it reflects oh. off and looks menacing ah! because it, it's just retarded because that's not how it works in real yeah. life. Like, you don't – it doesn't Can't work do, that There's way. certain things like I want to see the Samurai X. Uh, live action thing? Yeah, I haven't I watched mean, that yet because I sound, love that anime. Oh, yeah. It's R- fucking great. Roroni Kenshin for those who yeah. don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Samurai X is amazing. Is it good? Oh, um, I don't know about that. I'm so, I'm talking about the original show. Oh, the show. Yeah, yeah no, no, the show the original is show great. Is, is, is I know incredible. that. I just I I want to watch that. Like the Tag on Titan movie, I don't really want to see. I like the anime. I don't it's that, why I'm nervous. Like if they do this right, CGI Gundams, this could if they do a real Gundam version uh like Pacific Rim, uh I don't know. It's I'm so on the fence with this. I love Gundam. I like I started with Gundam Wing. Right. Um, there's been a lot of seasons of Gundam that I haven't liked. I didn't watch Gundam Seed or like. I mean, I, I've of... watched. I know I've watched Mobile Suit Gundam. Yeah, and I know I've watched Gundam Wing. Yeah, I cannot say I've seen any other Gundam <laughs> series ever. Yeah, period. Like I know I've watched those two. Now I can't recall a lot of the events of Mobile Suit Gundam, but I know I've seen it. Yeah. Um, same thing with. Uh, uh, Gundam Wing. I know I've seen a lot of that because Wing Zero was my shit for like until I was like eleven. Oh yeah, and then Power Rangers took over. Mm. So, but uh, I re- I remember that shit. So it's like, I mean, but I've not seen any Gundam. Yeah, since. there's been fourteen series. Yeah, it's nuts. Fourteen Gundam series, which is like I I, I can name that's okay like three or four. That's and okay. That's better than ten thousand episodes of One Piece. That's true. So yeah. I mean, I I will I will happily take and 14. that's one continuous. St- nope, I'm never can't. can't I was it. sitting there looking at that on Crunchyroll. I don't remember the exact number, but the number of episodes that I had to watch was in the thousands. Yeah, and I'm just like, nope, you guys are fucking nuts. There's yeah. no way you can have that much interesting material. You you're you're going to have to be at some point recycling shit. I don't know how and they kept that show going. I mean. It's popular. People the love it. The show is still going. It's still like – same thing with Naruto. Right. And the funny thing about Naruto to me, it's not – like when they – like the new game that's coming out. Um, Jump – Jump Force. Jump Force. Yeah. Whenever they use – they use Naruto from like first – the from like when he's younger. When he's uh, – he's, he's still not doing quite sexy a ch- jutsu. Yeah. He's before not – Before he becomes an actual master. Before he becomes a badass. Yeah. And it's like – but I mean you, you've got Super Saiyan Goku. He's not – I don't think he's blue in that trailer. Maybe he'll go Super Saiyan God form. Who knows? But they never upgrade Naruto. But I know the show's still going. <laughs> well, still no, they, they've shit. started a new series. Oh, is called it not? Boruto. Boruto. Oh, okay. The new generation. It's, what is so it's like, yeah, I think it's his kid. Okay. But they're, they're kids. Cause so they actually all... ended Naruto. I believe okay. so, yeah, eventually. Didn't drag it out anymore. I don't know, man. Like, that was one of those shows that needed to die a long time ago. I like I, I don't hate on it. Like I'm not hating on it, but it was one of those shows that went on entirely too long. Yeah, kind of like how I feel about One Piece. When I sit there and I look, and they have every episode, and it's in the thousands. Like, what the fuck? No. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why are there thousands of episodes? Like Dragon Ball Z. Like that's that's the thing. Like from what I recall reading something about ten or twelve years ago that the creator of One Piece wants it to be as popular as Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you look at Dragon Ball Z, even with all the anime shit fillers, just two hundred ninety one episodes. Yeah. You you lump in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. There's like another 400 or so. So there's 400 Dragon Ball episodes. I I might be wrong. It might be 400 total between the two, or around 450 oh, ish. Okay. That's sick because I didn't think Dragon Ball was that long. I mean, it it it, it chronicles Goku growing up. So yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I know it just. But I don't think long. I don't think it's that long. I'm just throwing numbers yeah. out at this point because I don't remember now. I did. Some, it's not in the I thousands. Did, I it's not even when you throw in Super and GT. Yeah. You're not even approaching 1,000. Like you're not even approaching 600 at that point. And at that it's still gone downhill. Like it's got there's stuff to. that's there's stuff that's still good in Super and there's stuff that you know was kind of enjoyable. I mean, in GT, and not to mention that in Super, there's so many animation goofs that are 
terrible. I don't know how you keep a show going that long. Really bad faces and stuff. Like, like, like Simpsons. Like, Simpsons should have stopped a long time ago. Simpsons, Simpsons only started still, 20 years ago. Yeah, Simpson old, <laughs> Simpsons only still exists because it's the only thing – it's the thing Fox can keep that – will never die. They won't kill it. They I mean, sacrifice it, it, good it, shows to the Simpsons. It's like, at this point, it's it's become the poor man's comedy. It's a, a poor man's South Park because they keep relevant. By I don't know. Harper. South Park's fucking needs to end, too. Well, That's well, been going on too fucking long. Yeah, but it's a, it's a matter of they keep up to date. They keep going mm. by making fun of modern things. They, yeah. keep, they, they continue to keep themselves fresh by just making fun of whatever we're outraged at at any particular time. So I mean, they always have content, I guess. And I, in, yeah, that's, that, that's kind of how that's kind of how they've kept that going. But I can't imagine that they're doing a similar thing with One Piece. Well, no, no. I mean, they're not even really doing that with The Simpsons. It's like, I, how, how are you keeping that going for a few thousand episodes? Well, as long as the manga keeps selling, right. they'll keep writing it. As long as they keep writing it. And the anime still keeps me being watched. They keep making the anime. But like, 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 how many stories can you seriously write at that point? You know, like, I mean, how many arcs can you have? How many villains can you never, have? That he never finds. Luffy he never fighting? finds the treasure. He's got to get the treasure, Joe. I don't even remember what the fuck he's looking for. Uh, he wants to become Grand the Pirate Line. King. I just remember the the, the fucking rap intro for <laughs> the terrible American intro. Oh man, <laughs> cringy as hell. It's so bad. You can tell it's some it's white so, dude who doesn't so know bad. what he's doing. Oh, I don't know. I just remember one of my friends uh, years ago. We were talking about stuff, and I was like, "I've been hearing about this One Piece thing." He's like, "Yeah, it's pretty good. You should check it out." He's like, "But don't." Watch it with the Funimation intro or the American intro. I don't know which one it is. He's like, just fucking skip that. Get away from that. I was like, the, the fucking catchy rap one. He's like, it's so awful. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Like, it, it's it's like, it can't even, like, the poker rap is better. Oh, my God, man. I still remember the uh, the Dragon Ball Z intro that gave it for Toonami. Dragon, the, dragon, yeah, yeah. The, dragon, the, the, dragon like, Ball 90s. Z. Edgy, dur, dur, dur. that was fucking great. That was great. No, I remember oh, that one man. fondly. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it's that. It's totally one. '90s. Yeah, you would not have gotten that. Like, uh, it's just, it's just so extreme. Uh huh. <laughs> but it fit. It fit so really, well, so very well. Well, until you got into the episodes where it's fucking Goku holding his hands in the air for 20 minutes, or gotta, gotta 15 minutes. The episode ends next time on. Dragon Ball Z. Will Goku ever launch the spirit bomb? This fucking show, God Will damn Krillin it. Krillin ever not die in a fight? <laughs> Will I'm sorry. Krillin ever do anything right? Hey, you know Krillin does a lot of shit right. We need to. We need to. We need to stop focusing on Krillin and start focusing on how much Yamcha has been. Uh, Yamcha just. Yamcha not has nothing. Yamcha he got beaten pointless. by the first androids. He, dude, he got beaten by the Cybermen. Yeah, didn't even get past the Cybermen. Got beaten by a Cyberman using a Cyberman using self destruct. Like, dude, it's just terrible. give up. Just give up. I fuck it. I don't know what the context was, but it was just a little clip of when Tien's like, "Is this it? Is am I really beaten this easily?" Like, he's got fucking one arm cut off, and I think he was holding one hand in the air, and then he falls over dead. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! I know you saw those images where somebody put together, and they were really, really well done. And it was uh, all the different Z fighters and all the, the the beings they've defeated. Yeah, and like Goku obviously had the biggest pile, and he had like Vegeta, he had Piccolo, he had Gohan. They all mm -hmm. had different and piles of bodies behind them. And then you get the Yamcha, and it's just him standing on the plains where they originally met him in Dragon Ball with nothing. <laughs> did he not even beat anybody in he Dragon Ball? He did not beat anybody in Dragon uh, Ball. Oh, no. Well, he didn't kill anybody in Dragon Ball. Yeah. I think he, he, he won a few martial arts matches, but always lost out. Yeah. Always lost out in a tournament. Um, but even Tien's killed more things than he has. That's... I, Krillin, Krillin... Fucking probably uh, Krillin's, Yamcha's... Or, I mean... Uh, Chao Tzu's probably killed things. <laughs> killed more things than uh, Tien. I, I don't know if Chao Tzu was included. Uh, Chao Tzu was included in the series of images. I'll, I, I know I got them bookmarked, so I'll have to find them later that's and send fun. them to you. Yeah, I, I but, actually, um, that's kind of cool seeing the body count. Yeah, no, and it was really well drawn, too. Mm -hmm. Like, um, But yeah, no, it's like Yamcha just standing there on the plains where they originally met him in Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, Bowl, my God. Where he has he's just nothing. Fist. And like, he's a, he's a total... He's a total cook. <laughs> oh, total. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's, 
Bulma and Vegeta, what's going to happen there, buddy? Well, I mean, the funny thing is, originally in Dragon Ball, he was, like, the total ladies' man. Yeah, yeah, like no, he, he was. He was a player, basically. Yeah, you know, he totally was. It was a great And actually, the reason uh, the reason uh, Bulma left him is because he cheated on her multiple times. Too. Right. So, I mean, he's a cuck, but he's a cuck because he's an asshole. And, and the funny thing is, in later series, in the later episodes, he, he's just a total... He's just, he's just, just totally... He's like an incel, almost. Well, like he, he's, he's playing baseball, and he's like, this is my sport. And he still he still gets beat up in baseball. Oh man, they have recreated the original Yamcha fucking dead pose. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that was, was just, one of my just, favorite parts. He was just in the crater super. in the mound. Just, uh, and, yeah. but he won. They won the game because of him. Yeah. So whatever, man. Yay! <laughs> he was lying there in that dirt, broken though. Oh god. Oh, it was it was really really not. Uh, it was great though. I mean, super super. There's super's a lot. Right. Of, super's fine. Super good. It kind of goes back and forth. I like it more than GT for sure. But, I mean, yeah. But yeah. It, super. Honestly, Super and GT have a lot in common. Yeah. The beginnings are kind of draggy. The middle's kind of eh. But then you get to the end and everything ramps up and gets really fucking cool. Yeah. Like, that's kind of how both series go. So I guess that's just how... I, I, mean, I don't know the writing. Super or uh, GT totally, totally drug in the beginning. <sighs> So many Terrible. bad villains, bad writing. Goku being turned into a kid again. I was like, I was okay with that, but the rest of it was yeah. just dumb. But but then you get to about the middle. You get baby. Baby's an awful villain. He's boring. He's kind of like Zamasu. He's just kind of <laughs> shitty. And then you get to the end, and you got you know them fighting Omega Shenron and the various Shenron dragons. And you got cool new transformations. You got Gogeta. You got Super Saiyan Four. And then you look at you look at the same thing with with that. Now you got. Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan God and just fusions of, of different Saiyans and just badass fights Lots everywhere. and lots and lots of fights. Because they oh, went yeah. back to the tournament. They went back to the, let's just fucking have fight after fight. Not fuck around with all these like weird stories and stuff. Honestly, it's one thing I like about Gundam as far as a series goes, uh, that they didn't continue one storyline. Yeah. The, vaguely, they had branching storylines. Well, every, every new... They have seasons of, you know, a series of Gundam. Yeah. But the new series can go taken in a completely different direction. Yeah. Um, vaguely, they have some of the story ideas, and some of them might lead into each other. I don't know. There might be references made. And yeah, because like it's still the same. It's the colonies versus uh, Earth. Right. And uh, I, I think there's even series where they've changed which builds the Gundams first and like which ones they hold up as the heroes and things like that. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I think a full on live action. Of a, I just want to see giant robots fighting is really all it is. I, you know, and, and you I think call that's them Gundams fair. and I'm perfectly fine with it. I think that's perfectly fair. But, I mean, giant robots who, who wouldn't want to see giant robots fight? Like my, my two favorite, well, my, some of my favorite Gundam series, like I loved, Gundam Wing, because it was like the first. Right. Endless Waltz was great, the movie. Uh, yeah, oh man, that um, was good. Then there was uh, Gundam 08, the MS team, which was really, really short. But uh, it wasn't, normally Gundam, you have a certain number of, like, these are the heroes, characters. They, they're they in undefeatable robots. They beat the shit out of everything. Yeah. Like, they're in Gundam Wing, they literally just walk through enemy fire like it's nothing and then destroy everything they piece everybody and the only threat to a gundam was another gundam in that right series. right yeah I re- until yeah. like they finally made a something that could touch them in oh wait the ms team it's just the story of the war everybody's in mobile suits right and nobody's imperfect there's like somebody's trying to one side's trying to build a super weapon they find out later on but for the most part it's like real soldier stuff so they're like sneaking through woods but it's a giant robot, so they're, like, crouched down, still crunching trees and shit. And they're having, like, long-range fights and stuff. But, I mean, that series was fucking awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, it's just, it's a real quick little tiny thing. Uh, apparently, Toys R Us, you know, because how they've been shutting down in the U.S., they're, yeah. they're gone. Like, Toys R Us is dead. Um, was An employee of a Toys R Us found a... Dusty Mario Kart 64 box underneath the shelf. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're talking a, what, 22-year-old game they yeah. found underneath the shelf. I mean, I, I got to assume there's a couple of these stores that people might not even, 
let other people know about it. If I found something really impressive, I wouldn't tell anybody. Like they've got to have found like old old toys or like maybe like an old deck of magic cards or yeah, some, old some collector you know, shit video games. Shit. Yeah, yeah, shit yeah. that like somebody set somewhere. It's just fucking nobody noticed. I mean, they find some. That'd be awesome. Right, like a little I mean, hidden treasure. Yeah, like like you know, like in this instance, a fucking Mario Kart game yeah. that got kicked under a shelf or knocked under a shelf somehow, and just stayed there. Yeah, for fucking. twenty-two fucking years. Like that's that's nuts to me. And of course, it's dusty as hell because that's how this stuff works. Oh, of course, There's dust everywhere. Blah blah blah. So you sent me an image, and I was actually. Oh yeah, that that I think we could. We'll probably have to do another episode of that. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that 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 could take a whole episode. It was a video game favorite, so we'll probably work on that for next week. Yep, yep, different parts of video games. But um, I mean, I was sitting there looking at some of those, I'm like, dude, like, I could talk about a lot of this for, like, hours. Yeah. You know what I don't want to see a movie of? What's that? about this, like, live action anime adaptations. Yeah. I don't think they should ever try Dragon Ball. No, don't do that. If they did, maybe Dragon, like, early Dragon Ball, or late Dragon Ball, where they're doing tournament stuff. Never, just no, we don't need no. It. After that pile of shit we got, that was Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, yeah, I, forgot I don't want that. them to I ever erased, try a Dragon Ball I movie that from again. My memory, like, no, please, <laughs> never touch it again. Um, just, just don't. You've proven you can't. Yeah, like something as insane and over the top as DB could, I don't think would translate well to DBZ a, wouldn't at all to a non animated format. Like, I just yeah. don't think maybe Dragon Ball. It's very, like they want to do a live Dragon action Ball? Akira. I see that because Akira, other than the ending, right? It's just it's a it's a, like you've got Neo Tokyo and motorcycle races and stuff. That's all fucking awesome. Right. And most of it's drama, and then the endings when shit hits the fan. But I mean, that's similar to like yeah, I, I any think any gonna, superhero movie does way more than that. I than think Akira. any sort of like major actiony type of. Uh, anime. I don't think they could translate well to because you're going to have to use a lot of weird CGI yeah. and stuff. It's going to be obvious that those because unless you, it, unless like, you have a huge budget, that CGI is going to be really obvious. Like the Attack on Titan anime, is, the movie isn't ever like going to pick up traction in the United States. Probably not. Never. Like, even if the anime got super popular, I don't. Yeah. I think, and, and I know it is. Like yeah. I know it's a big thing. It's like I I don't think it could really do much here. Like that's that's yeah. that's very much a Japanese thing or a very specific otaku weep thing or whatever they want to call themselves. Like because it's just it's not something that'll get mass appeal here. You know, it might be kind of cool, might be a novelty thing, but yeah, yeah. I don't see it being. So it's why I still I don't know why they did Ghost in the Shell. Like I guess they thought this should think, be easier to do. I, yeah, probably it's not, like an it, easier thing. If people to do. know it, like oh, yeah. let's do Evangelion or fuck Gellion, whatever the fuck you say it. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Please don't. Yeah. God, well, I don't even like. I'm one of the very few people I know that don't like that anime at all. I know I and watched it, but I can't remember whether it's I can't like remember. A, it's like fucking blasphemy to not like that. But I don't. No, don't do a movie of that stuff. No, it doesn't translate well. I mean, do an animated flick. Like that's one of yeah. my big things with Warner Brothers and DC. Like DC's animated flicks are amazing, yeah. but for some reason they just can't get the fucking they can't get the live action shit right. And I don't understand. I why. I think that's a lot of bullshit in politics. Yeah, is part of the reason they can't get that going. I mean, you could say the same thing about Star Wars right now. Oh, we're not Lucasfilm. I man. think they need to do a shakeup in management because you should not have so many movies directors being ripped out of a movie halfway through the movie 99 percent of the movie shot this is fucking ridiculous oh my i i that's a huge that's a huge problem just leave your politics at home man and just focus on the movie i mean not even politics i'm like just you should know the directors you're hiring you should like have them they should know what you want out of this I mean, yeah, don't, do you not vet these people? Do you not interview these Fucking people? I mean, God. do you not know what kind of content they've created in the past? Are you not checking that content to make sure it meshes with what you want from the movie? I mean, I, I it's don't like understand. If, uh, it's like if halfway shoot through shooting Guardians of the Galaxy, Kevin Feige finally apparently watched a tape that should have been watched weekly, they're daily, uh, and went, no, 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 what is this James Gunn guy doing? We don't want this. Yeah. Like, he's a comedy. He directs comedies. This is, this is exactly what you should want. Yeah, no. And the Cavalier, no. We can't, Lord Miller, what is? what are they doing? 
It's crazy. Yeah. You you hired them. You should have seen this early I, on. Exactly. Like fucking test footage been like, nope. I, I don't understand. Like, why can't you get your shit together? Uh, I, you know, I just like, think in people put in place that probably don't need to be over that. Probably. Also, yeah. they need to fucking pull EA for making the game. Hey, yeah, they need to pull that license from God EA. God damn, man. I hate that Because, I mean, company. you sit there and you look back, like, when, when whoever had it in, like, the ni- early 2000s. It was had, just Lucasfilm. LucasArts. Yeah, we had so many fucking great games. Yeah. And you look now... What has EA done? Battlefront. You know the funny thing about too. that is what else? I don't even. When know. you watch when you watch like documentaries about LucasArts, um, they would like be terrified when George Lucas himself would come in, because George Lucas would come in and just have the fucking wildest goddamn ideas. Oh my god! Like he'd come in and be like, yeah, "That's good." Like like they were they're making you know this story about a Sith. And a Jedi, and this Jedi, you know, grows up, this evil Sith, blah, 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 he's going to fight him in it. And then George Lucas being like, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, yeah, but what if they were brothers? And what if, what if, what if one of them was, like, an alien that, that, like, came in, and, yeah, yeah, do that. And then they're like, but, but that's not the game, yeah, yeah, do that. And it's like, they would have to fucking change everything because George Lucas came up with just this crazy fucking idea. What if they were hobbits? Yeah. Wait, what? Like, what, what? If, what, what if the, one of them was only two feet tall and spoke in Mandarin? <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was a giant worm with four arms. What? Yeah. No, there what? was no, there was something know, about this, one no. of the games where I think they canceled the game that he wanted the Sith to be a giant, like a giant slug. Not not Jabba the Hutt's race, but like some other like it's just some crazy shit. And it's like, George, stop. Go away. <laughs> this is why you're not allowed to direct movies anymore. Yeah. Oh my god, like like some of the things some of the decisions that were made with the prequels, it's like, dude. He's he created an amazing universe and is a great writer. Um it's just he shouldn't have been uh, interacting with actors. Things. <laughs> he and shouldn't have been special doing effects. Things. Yeah, no. I don't know. Oh dude, there was this awesome uh video I just saw. Yeah. Short little thing, uh where they were showing Stop motion animation combined with digital. And I think it was from 1993. And I think it was partially what they used for maybe the original Jurassic Park for stuff. I, I don't think they used the stop motion. Just no, the digital no, I mean, stuff. I, I can't remember any stop they motion. They used a giant stuff. robot. Yeah, no, these big old But puppet. they, uh, it looks so much better than most digital effects now. Yeah. Like dinosaurs and things like that don't look fucking real. I, I, I didn't go see Lost World 2 yet, but the lo- – or not Lost World. Uh, Jurassic World. Jurassic World, World. Which is like Lost Kingdom or something like that. Fucking whatever it is. Jurassic World was bad enough. Like only the yeah. last 20 minutes was entertaining. The rest yeah, yeah, of it was, was, it was fucking one of those, boring. It was one of those movies where it's just like, yeah, fuck yeah, dinosaurs. I went back, I went back to watch it too because I was going to go see The Lost Kingdom. Why? And I'm watching it like, oh my god, I forgot how boring – fucking majority of this movie is and just just character the whole chick's character is i'm just kind of a catty bitch and all of chris chris pat's character is just i'm the dude with raptors who likes vests apparently that's in the two bo- i fucking hate the kids they're pointless oh my god they're completely pointless it's just i i was fucking done with it fucking the lost world is better <laughs> like they're one of those things oh god that says a Easily. lot. Easy. The Lost World's not nearly as bad as uh, we give it credit for. Fuck. I mean, I don't. I don't have negative memories to the Lost World. To be honest nah. with you, like I can't. I can't sit there and hate on the Lost. It's just World. not as good as the original. I think. Yeah, no. Like, it doesn't live up to the original. It doesn't live up to the second one. The second one was pretty good too. But that is the Lost World. Was the second one, wasn't it? No, I'm pretty sure Lost World was the third one. What was the name of the second one? Jurassic um, Park. I don't fucking remember, but I'm pretty sure the Lost. Well, you know, let's look that I'll up. Fucking look it up, but. Uh, like, Let's like, okay, the third one, I don't know if the third one is better than um, Jurassic World. Uh, I, I don't know if I can say that because, okay, it is better in a sense that it's so bad, it's funny. It's so bad, it's good. The scene where Alan, <laughs> the raptor, talks to him on the fucking plane is still priceless. Alan! <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I might have got him mixed up. Yeah, Jurassic Park Lost World is the second one. But, uh... And the third one was fucking Jurassic Park 3, I think, is all it was. 
Yeah, the Lost World Jurassic Park is the second one. The yep. lo- th- yeah, the other one's just called Jurassic Jurassic Park Three. Yep. Like, there's no subtitle. Yeah, yeah. Just I, I don't, I don't know. I don't really. I want. I still plan to see the Lost Kingdom. Um, it'll be one of those I things. Like dinosaurs for me. It'll be one of those things that I rent on yeah. Google Play when they give me a ninety nine cent rental. Yeah, and it then just, I watch it last minute, like literally four hours before it expires. I know the story. They give the whole story away in the trailers. Completely. Well, I mean, of course they do because there's like, not there is no but story. excessively. Like there's nothing that happens that you don't see that's in that in like the second trailer, not even like the last. I haven't seen not any of the, the trailers because I haven't cared yeah. to watch any of them. It's honestly. like like every beat of the movie is in there, and then so I've listened to spoiler reviews and discussions and stuff, and watched some videos, and I'm just like, oh god, why why would you just why do this? And a lot of people are just pissed off because they ignore continuity. They kind of the the uh, Jurassic World is technically in the same universe. But they it, it completely write off the second island, so they kind of treated almost like the second and third movie never happened, um, because they added the uh, the Ila Sorna and the other island. Right, they added the right, other island. Right. They completely ignore those existing. Right. Uh, because obviously, if there's a volcano on one, instead of bringing the dinosaurs back to the fucking mainland, take them and put them over there. <laughs> common like the, fucking sense uh, you would think yeah yeah apparently there's a really big issue with uh the you remember the fucking water dinosaur in oh yeah the the, the one that eats the ice at the end yes yeah yeah fucking uh that spoiler alert for those who haven't seen uh, <laughs> jurassic world yet yeah so that crew that that uh dinosaur i keep wanting to say monster that dinosaur's cage thing its enclosure yeah. is in the center of the island they kind of make it a big point because it's one of the first things you come in to see right when they bring them in they have their little sea world thing right right there. yeah yeah they bring the public in in the uh the next oh God. movie what are they they've doing? moved it to the edge so that apparently like the only thing keeping that dinosaur from the open ocean is a little <laughs> gate so of course there's like a fucking storm and it busts and that dinosaur is now out in the ocean. The Elasaur or whatever it is. So they completely change their map and act like no, it's been here the whole time. Just oh, just for my fucking movie's sake. Fucking God. Uh, the whole movie is just like, well, something it's a movie, so we have to do this. Like nothing, nothing. Uh. So basically they had no ideas for an actual conflict and just threw some shit together. Oh, well, the conflict is um they they think they're going to the island to save dinosaurs, but oh no, we've been betrayed because you were rehashing the idea from the second movie. Probably why they want to ignore its existence. And this evil corporation wants to capture dinosaurs and sell them uh, to like hunters and shit. Wealthy or? people? Well, no, I mean oh, I don't. Pets. Maybe that's no as like soldiers, which makes no sense because well, you know what? That does kind of throw back to the original Jurassic World though, when you had uh, Vincent and Far- Onfario's character sitting there talking to Chris Pratt's character like, hey, let's weaponize Yeah, no, no. Them. There's a reason we don't weaponize animals, though, because it doesn't ever work out well. I don't the know why anybody we've gotten would think to it, it is would. dogs and horses. Do- oh, and bats. And, no, that didn't work out. That kind of worked out. No, they kept setting everything on fire That's instead true. of what we wanted them to set on fire. Um, they burned the testing lab down where they were testing also, the bats with bombs. I also remember them. Uh, <laughs> they roosted it somewhere, like a church or something, and burned the church down too. Oh, like yeah, no, they burned out. They burned multiple places down. They weren't yeah. supposed to. Yeah, including the mm. testing area where they were doing this. But it's yeah, just like, why and animals think don't work? ever work out, and especially animals that are super old and just vicious. And don't have any fucks to give, like raptors. Yeah, like, or- it's just, it's, the whole concept is stupid, and then, so they bring them to the mainland to a giant mansion for some reason, <laughs> and then they all get out, because of course they do. And the the way they do, and I won't spoil how they get out because it's the only thing not shown in the trailers. It's just so fucking dumb. It's it's dumb, and it's like it's, like, it's probably something like, oh yeah, I forgot to put the key in that lock. No, it's worse. <laughs> I forgot to lock that padlock. It's, I'm sorry. It's guys. worse. It's almost to the level of um, like it's a Unix system. Oh my god, it's so bad. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Fuck it. Spoiler warning: If you haven't seen the. Uh, 
second uh, uh, Jurassic uh, World World movie. Spoiler. So skip ahead. So anyway, what it is is the little girl that's in the trailers. So I've, she's running around with Chris. Oh, you haven't. There's, I haven't seen the trailer, but the trailers do not show that she's in the movie nearly as much as she is because apparently she runs around with Chris Pratt and the chicken that's not in heels anymore. Oh, she's not in heels yeah. anymore. So apparently that's been a fierce debate. Like, why is the point? Apparently, of her people heels? were pissed about that. Like, like, she was already fucking wearing heels. Yeah, gives I a mean, shit. she's running really fast in heels, so she's a hoe, according to like I don't know Chris Rock, I think. Or somebody, uh, I can't remember that old comedy. Yeah, I, I also I, I also remember it being referenced in uh, the Boondocks. The Boondocks. Yeah, she can run too fast in heels. She can run too fast in heels, Grandash, you ho. Yeah. So I mean, there's that, but like, just fucking. What the fuck is she cares? supposed to do? Walk around a jungle barefoot? barefoot. Get the fuck out of here. Who Break gives... the heel off or something, I guess. But who gives a shit? Why is that a point of contention? So that chick, would they make? Apparently they make the uh, like the camera when they show her on the island. They pan from her shoes up to show she's in like hiking boots. <laughs> like wait, she's not in heels anymore. You guys can stop bitching about it. Yeah, stop bitching about the heels. But okay, I mean, it's you're a onto the spoiler. Deal. So there's your... this little girl that they're traveling around with. Uh, right. uh, big what a twist is the guy. The guy who. Is working. There's the old guy who existed, John Han, uh, that was John Hammond's partner, right? Guy who started Jurassic Park. Even though he's never referenced anywhere in either of the movies as existing, he now exists. Um, his partner is this old dude who wants to help the dinosaurs and make up for what he did wrong. Um, his what? next guy he wants under to pay him, the dinosaurs restitution. I have no idea. It was dumb. Is it like slavery or he's no? Like... He just wants to not let them all die. I guess on the island, which is exactly what we should do. Pretty much, we can, like that's just not debatable. So, his the guy under him that actually runs the company. Um, his daughter died in a car accident or something like that. And what's a twist? He cloned his daughter. Oh, so the course. girl running around is a clone this whole time, just like the dinosaurs. So at the end of the movie, they had opened some of the cages to fight the bad people that were buying the dinosaurs as soldiers. And there's that evil fuck off dinosaur running around um, that's like got super intelligence because we genetically created a super intelligent machine that just wants to kill everything again because that worked out so well the first time. Oh, fuck yeah. me. Why? So... At the end of the movie, they're leaving the mansion. I think it's burning down or some shit. And there's literally a big red button that says, don't push. That essentially all it does is open all the cages. She fucking pulls a DD. And the little girl pushes the button and goes, they're just like me. She pulls a fucking DD. Yeah, which, of Ooh, course, all the dinosaurs do? get out. Which, okay, so... Here's the thing about going into the next movie yeah. is they've kind of – like Jeff Goldblum's only in one part – at two parts. And all he does is have a little bit of exposition. And he's talking at the end when he's like, this is truly a Jurassic world because the dinosaurs have gotten out and now they can like go and breed and stuff. How many fucking dinosaurs could you fit in the basement of a mansion that they're going to go out and repopulate that quickly? How – no. Fucking no. There's no way that – it's going to be – and I know the next movie is going to probably have it be like Humanities on the – fence, like almost um, Planet of the Apes. Oh, no. I'm guessing that's Planet where they want to go with this. Guys. The thing is in Planet of the Apes, it becomes the Planet of the Apes because humanity wipes itself out with a virus. Not because fucking – All the apes kill they us. They just get smart. They get smart and it becomes an issue because there are no people left. <laughs> like it's just – oh, it's so dumb. It's like the the fact that the little girl and they're just okay with it. Like, oh, I guess they deserve to be free. No, <laughs> no, they're fucking monsters we've created. They're dinosaurs. They're awesome. Like if they created a Jurassic Park, I'd pretty much be down for it. But you don't get to be like they deserve to be free. They're fucking animals. They're animals that shouldn't exist anymore. They also shouldn't be able to breathe because they wouldn't have enough fucking oxygen in the atmosphere. I mean, yeah, considering that their size is like like that's why things are not huge exactly. anymore because we only have 21% oxygen in the air versus 42 or whatever yeah. the fuck we had back there. So I mean, I, I they just show they show like the dinosaurs like running around and stuff and it's like oh my god, this fucking contrived bullshit of an uh, 
I was like, man, I'm kind of glad I didn't see this movie. <laughs> I'm like really glad. Because my reaction would be, what are you doing, you little fucking inbred cunt? Little you just demon. let out all the fucking monsters. You, they're just like me. No, you're a clone. You have fucking, you're a human, you're essentially a human being. We're not sure if you're a mutant clone baby yet. They haven't said she's anything about that. She's a metahuman, Luke. Yeah, she's, is she a metahuman? Is she fucking going to mutate and turn into a velociraptor at some point? If the answer is no, then no, you don't get to say they're just like you. <laughs> You've just committed mass murder. You just committed <laughs> they're gonna go major and eat. Yeah. genocide. Yeah, like maybe. I mean, I honestly, fucking, it wouldn't take that many like hunters or snipers oh, yeah, and I mean, to take out those dinosaurs. They're not that smart. The reason that the Indominus was frightening is because it's the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex and it was like fucking bred to be super dangerous. Uh, these like, like these were just normal dinosaurs. Like, yeah, it was fucking turned invisible. All right, I was man, like, no, no just this no. is fucking dumb. I'm so glad that I did not go see that movie. I'm yeah. so glad. I'm just not going to. Like I said, that's going to be one of those things that gets relegated to a rental yeah. that I watched last minute. 99 cents. Maybe a little bit of yo-ho, yo-ho. I don't know. I, we'll perhaps. See. You know, a little, little, uh, little high seas discount. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there because if, if we keep going any further, it's just going to be me bitching about how bad that premise is. <laughs> Like, I'm just picking Completely apart understand. why it's wrong. And I just love that you guys it's the don't little girl committing because, mass murder. You don't want to hear that because it's just going to devolve into me foaming at the mouth in anger. <laughs> I wish – I mean, it, go with a dark comedy version of this where Chris Pat's character just fucking punts the little girl out a window, like into a, a fucking T-Rex's mouth or something. Like, what the fuck did you do? That's a little girl. I'm like, no, she isn't. She's test tube, baby. That's Some a- dark evil <laughs> Hey, I want to make that oh, movie. <laughs> that's my dark, dark comedy. But that'll be the uh, fucking uh, uh, <laughs> Jurassic World spoof movie. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and wind it down there. Uh, remember to check us out on our Facebook. various social media platforms. Yeah. On iTunes.com. You can find all the links at the top of the page. Uh, what else we we on? There. Are we on Spotify yet? No, I haven't even tried. Okay, yeah. Because their their podcast support is still, still in beta and all that. Yeah, I don't right, even right, care right. to be honest with you. But we are on Google Podcasts. We're on iTunes. You know, we're Google on a, a what's that? Tune in Radio. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, so we're we're on, we're on the important ones. Check we're us on out. YouTube. Share of us. course, you can watch you can watch us sit in the studio on YouTube. Look at the Twitter. Uh, I got to start posting to Twitter again. Yeah, I, I just haven't. But <laughs> my bad. Um, it's just overwhelmed, man. I do everything. Fuck you. I know. Luke. I'm just you saying. post the Facebook. No, no. Asshole. I told them to check to it. Oh, I didn't yeah. say you have to do stuff. Yeah, go tweet us there. I'll <laughs> reply with something smartass, <laughs> or I'll reply very professionally. It doesn't matter. We'll do something. Yeah. When I say we, I mean him. Yeah, I don't he like meets Twitter. me. Yeah, he's a fag. Yeah, All right, Twitter. <laughs> All right, guys. For the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Peace. Fuck yeah. <laughs>